Warning, what you're about to watch is real footage of me designing stuff, even though it doesn't really look like it. That's because I'm not very smart, so when I tried to multitask by designing and giving commentary at the same time, it just came out choppy and hard to watch, so I turned the screen recording into a time lapse and cut together myself talking so it doesn't sound like I'm having a brain aneurysm the whole time. Please enjoy. So, I went to a 4th of July party this year, and at that party, there was a guy. I don't want to say his real name, because he did get into a fight later that evening, so we're just going to call him Corey. Corey... I overheard him bragging to somebody about his daughter and how she is so famous on social media and makes all this money and has millions of followers and subscribers and stuff. So I, I thought, yo, I gotta go talk to this guy. He's got a famous daughter. Maybe I can get a shout out or something. So I go up to him I'm like, hey, I'm on YouTube too. What's your daughter's uh, channel? I'd love to look her up and subscribe. And he goes, oh yeah, her name's something, something really unique because she was the only one who showed up when I put it in the search bar. And I was absolutely flabbergasted, gobsmacked even. When I saw the subscriber count of 1,224 <laughs> millions of subscribers, I was polite about it. I don't want to be rude. The guy was obviously really proud of his daughter. But in my head, I'm like, a thousand subscribers? That's nothing. I have 10,000 subscribers. And in that moment, when I said that to myself, in my head, I realized what a, <laughs> what a terrible person I am. Because not only is a thousand subscribers actually pretty cool, that's really good. A lot of people work really hard to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, I haven't even said thank you yet for 10,000 subscribers, so thank you everybody for 10,000 subs. It means a lot, it means the world. Uh, it really is insane to me. I know you hear that a lot, but anyway, that's enough yapping. Today, in honor of 10,000 subscribers, we are going to design an entire app in 10,000 seconds. Now, there's a couple things you need to know. First of all, I do this for a living. This is how I pay the bills, because YouTube certainly does not. I thought posting once every other year was enough, but... And uh, the other thing is, 10,000 seconds is 2 hours, 46 minutes, and 40 seconds, I think, which is the timer you saw at the start of this, or you can see right now. That's not enough time. That's not enough time to design a good app. My goal here is just to get the designs to a point where a developer could see them and kind of insinuate the rest, make a pretty good guess, because 3 hours is not anywhere near enough time to finish. <laughs> And I like watching people design things, and I can do whatever I want on my own channel. What are you designing? I hear everybody screaming. I'm glad you screamed. I'm not a salesman, but I'm gonna pitch it to you like a salesman anyway. Um, let me ask you a question. Does doom scrolling on TikTok make you feel good or terrible? How do you feel when you regain consciousness after an hour because you accidentally clicked on an Instagram reel? Do you even like Twitter anymore? Or X? Or does it just make you mad? Social media is so fascinating to me because I feel like we all know it's poisoning our minds. I feel like we all know it's terrible for us, but we're so addicted that we can't even imagine quitting. It's like the most collective and widespread addiction that society has, and we just kind of go with it. If someone says to you, I'm going on a social media fast, I'm going to delete all my social media for a week or a month or whatever, and see what happens. What do you say to them? Do you say, wow, okay, nerd. I hope you enjoy having no friends. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I can't talk to somebody that's not on Instagram. No, you say, good for you, man. <laughs> proud of you. I hope it works out. I should do that too. Why is that? Because we all know it's bad for us. We all know we'd be better off without it. But we just can't quit. I did actually try that once, deleting social media for a week. I couldn't do it. I literally could not do it. I actually didn't delete the app because I didn't want the inconvenience of reinstalling it. And I found myself like a zombie searching for it. I would search it up on my phone and not even realize I was scrolling until I don't even know how long. I was like, oh crap, I'm scrolling again. I needed my fix. It was not a good feeling. It was not a good feeling. So anyway, now that I've established <laughs> the motivation behind what I'm building, I'm building a new social media platform, app, whatever you want to call it, because I can. And it actually sounds pretty simple from a programming standpoint, but I want it to be a breath of fresh air. So it's going to be called Fresh, because I'm not very creative. Here are the rules for being on Fresh. Number one, one person per account, no more, no less. This means no brand accounts, no companies allowed, no meme pages even. And it's not that memes aren't allowed, it's just to facilitate uh, kind of a human connection. I'm trying to take social media back to what it was however many years ago when it was like not poisonous. Uh, no AI generated content is allowed. Matter of fact, there's no AI in this app whatsoever. It's going to be open source so you can see all the code that I wrote and everything that's going on. It's supposed to be very simple. No short form video to eliminate doom scrolling. Uh, once you get to the end of your chronologically ordered feed from the people you follow, it's going to say, all done. Go outside now. <laughs> Go touch grass. There's no algorithms that farm you. Uh, no ads, no ads. I, re I went back and forth on that. Um, but if I want to eliminate invasion of privacy, I feel like ads, there's just no room for them. Um, it's basically designed to be non-addictive. 
Right now, social media, and most things on your phone, are designed to capture your attention and hold it for as long as physically possible to show you as many ads as they possibly can. And that just sucks, and I hate it. So once you get to the end of your feed, it's gonna say, all done, bye bye, go touch grass. I will add an explore page where you can uh, you can manually put in what your interests are. So see like hiking and basketball and whatever. You, you can choose to go to the explore page and see other posts from random people and, and see people to follow. Like celebrities aren't allowed. I know there's no companies and no whatever, but LeBron James can get on and post about basketball if he wants. But if like the CEO of ExxonMobil wants to post on Fresh, he's gonna have to do it his self, as himself. No social media team, no marketing department. Done. Bye. This is not the place for that. The purpose of this is for you to, to keep up with and follow the people and topics you care about without destroying your brain. And I think it's possible, and it sounds pretty easy to build, so I'm going to try, because I can. When you learn how to program, and especially if you learn how to design, you can make whatever you want. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. At the time of releasing this video, it is most certainly not going to be built, but we'll get to that. So you might be wondering, the more astute viewers you might be wondering, how do you plan to make money? If you're not going to have ads. I, I wrestled with this too because I want this to be something that makes society better not worse. I'm not out here to make a whole bunch of money um, but bills do need to be paid so what do I do? At a certain point I think it's best that we go back to paying for the products we use. Whoa 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 stay with me. <laughs> stay with me. If you're not paying for the product you are the product. I know you've heard that before. I know you've heard that before. You know you don't pay for Facebook, you don't pay for Instagram. Why? because people pay for you to be on there. Your attention and your data are being sold, uh, right? Right, I'm not, I don't, I'm not just a conspiracy theorist here, this is just what's going on. And so Fresh is not going to be totally free, but look, hear me out, just hear me out on my pricing model, I think it's pretty chill. First of all, it will be free to sign up and to use, but probably to a limited extent, and then you can pay to unlock everything. And here's my prices, ready, they're gonna break the bank, so you better open your wallet wide open. This many, this many dollars a month, Two dollars a month. I think that's fair, right? Um, and then I'll also do can pay ten dollars for the year, and then twenty dollars for a lifetime. Because some people are just like, I do not need another subscription. Okay, twenty bucks, and you can have it forever. Fine. If I had investors, they'd be like, recurring revenue. Ugh. I'm not here for revenue. I'm not here to get rich. Okay. There's better ways to get rich. I have a good job. I'm not interested in that. I'm still not decided on how this like freemium model would work. Like, what exactly is limited. It'll be something like you can post once a month unless you're a subscriber or whatever, or you can only follow a certain number of people. I don't know. I don't really know. It just, it has to be something. I don't, I'm not really, I don't really love that part, so I'll, I'll figure it out at some point. But hey, also in honor of 10,000 subscribers, check it out. I'm going to give the first 10,000 people who sign up for the waitlist free lifetime. Okay. The first 10,000 people in honor of 10,000 subscribers, the first 10,000 people who sign up We'll get a free lifetime subscription forever on Fresh. Because it's my app and I can do whatever I want. And you as my loyal subscribers get a head start. Link is in the description. I'll also put it at the bottom of the video. I haven't even bought a domain yet, so I, I can pretty much guarantee that Fresh.com is not available. So I'll have to find something, but I just really quickly throwing this chronological order thing uh, up there. I feel like that was something that people complained about a lot with Instagram is how it's just like the algorithm is feeding you whatever you think it thinks you're gonna like the most and they just they want that control back so that's one of the first things I'm doing here but uh, 30 seconds on the clock I'm running out of time can't even decide what the <laughs> what these words should be and there's the finished timer done 8:26 a.m. yeah my sleep schedule is all out of whack because I have a baby hell yeah so this is the finished this is what this is where I got all those things on the side, let me explain this a little bit. So all those things on the side are um, the settings. There's a lot of those settings, so it's just gonna kind of determine what settings are available. Oh, I never explained the button. <laughs> uh, the button is just for fun. Again, this is my app, I can do whatever I want. Whenever you press it, it's gonna make that emoji go flying up, and it's gonna make it go flying up for everybody else. So I, I imagine, in my brain, I like to think that the button will just be covered with emojis all the time. That just sounds cool. I also want to add a marketplace thing. This will be later, but uh, like Facebook Marketplace where you can list stuff. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, here's the link again. Sign up. I promise I'm not going to do anything weird with your emails. Maybe everybody who's part of the original 10,000 will get like an OG badge. I think that would be pretty cool. Like you were around for the beginning. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Here's the link. Sign up. Here's the link. Sign up. Please, please sign up. And subscribe too. I'll know if you don't.
Thank you for ruining my life. I'm literally an algorithm designed to maintain your attention by learning from your behavior and mirroring back that which consciously or not captivates you in the social world's 